Hey, what's up, guys? This is Crafty Fox of the Minecraft Multi Force, and today we're going to take a look at the Minecraft Multi Force Tank Challenge Contest. Now, this past month, we hosted a contest where you can build any tank in Minecraft. It could be real or fictional, and you would have to build a diorama with it and just post it on Discord. So we've gotten over 40 entries, I think around 45, and uh, we're gonna take a look at all of them. And at the end of the video, stick around because that's when we're gonna say the results of the top 10 and eventually the top three. But anyways, guys, let's get started. So our first entry is by Jackie Boy 1028 He posted this Leopard 2A4 in a snowy camouflage in the tundra, simple. Diorama is just firing a gun. Next, we have by Alistor. This is uh, Ferdinand with a fighter escort, BF-109. So this inspiration by Subby for the BF-109. Next, we have an entry from Data Expunge. This is a Soviet T-34 as it attempts to break through a brick wall in Call of Duty World at War. So it's a recreation from the mission called Ring of Steel. So next, we have a black and white picture. This is by KeyW2. It's a Cardin Lloyd Carrier. And I believe it is a tankette, which is a really tiny tank or something like that. Next, we have Archmage001. He's posted this recreation of the German forces attacking the Maginot 9. All right, so next we have from Alistein. It's a similar concept. It's just firing a bunch of tanks at nighttime. Next, we have from Alpha Lology. Posted this Ares main battle tank. I believe it's fictional. It's a, it says it's an eighth generation main metal tank designed for heavy planetary warfare. So here he has a custom ship that's flying them in. So that's how they get to the battlefield. And here is the tank by itself next to a player. So you can see it's pretty huge and sci-fi and it can go into like siege mode. Almost like a siege tank from StarCraft. Next we have this T90 doing a jump shot from Tank Fest in Russia. And this is by Defense Minister of Russia. Then we have an entry from Leaf Blower. He posted this Leopard 2A4 tank on patrol during the sunset. The next what we have from Ark of Supercars. It's uh, based on a World War II battlefield. And the tank is based off of Panzer 4G. Then from Jish we have 1918. It's from World War I. You can see there's the British uh, tank just rolling around. I wonder if it's a Mark V. That's like the only British tank I know. It's a uh, one-to-one -one scale. Then we have from the real troll face. This is a Panzer in the mountains while a C-47 and some P-51s attack a German base. Then from Gunslinger, we have a Normandy Beach uh, diorama. The American forces, this is a Sherman tank uh, while on the beaches and it's being shot by a flat cannon. Then we have from USS John Paul Jones, a convoy with a Sherman, a Firefly, and a Calopa. Then from Evo 1800, this is an MT-87 main battle tank. He says it's fictional, so it's not real, but it is based off the Abrams tank. Then from Matty 524, this is a double cannon tank. Then from Garrett 2x4, this is the fall of the nation. It's a diorama that shows the fall of Berlin and the Third Reich. In the scene, a destroyed tiger sits burning with a fallen Nazi flag draped over it. This is to symbolize the fall of Germany as a country and military. And his second entry is called Frozen Pass. It depicts a Sherman tank guarding uh, bridgehead. The tank's actually buried in the snow and waits any unexpected enemy troops trying to cross. So next from Mystic Greatness, this is a future tank coming from another dimension fighting our modern day machines. And next we have from Iowa Crafter, two T-14 Armada tanks as well as field artillery. The crew is camouflaging them so I guess they're putting leaves all around it and they're waiting for an ambush. Then we have from Hunter Sky 2005, this is a Panzer III tank fighting a Sherman Firefly as well as a gunner hiding inside the cottage. Then we have from Smart Part Tart, this is the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force main battle tank and infantry fighting vehicle while they move through a forest. So it's I guess it's like a convoy. Then next we have from Sun Blue. This is a TX-10 and its crew is camping for the night. So this is SW Gurin's entry. It shows Middle Eastern insurgents being intercepted by American forces. So there's an M1A2 Abrams tank. Then next from Plasmatic Static, Desert Heat, and Israeli Centurion and convoy stationed outside of a village. 
Then here from Sun Blue again, his second entry. It's a remembrance of the great war between two fictional factions. Then from Map Pack, this is two super Persians driving through a field. Uh, he did put like this reddish brownish filter over everything. So this is from the crafty one. It's a T-72 firing at some Chechen rebels. And here's a look at that. Then here from Young, this is a Chinese ZTZ-99 main battle tank. Then next again from Young, this is a M8 Buford. So the next entry is called Russian Armor by Defense Minister of Russia, his second entry. And it says, Russia shows its brute force of its most advanced and heaviest armor, the T-900. Is one of Russia's fictional super heavy tanks, along with its brothers T-14, T-72B3, T-80BVM, T-90A, and T-90M. Then we have from Rem, it says Chinese forces versus a small American squadron with an Abrams tank. And as you can see, the Abrams tank, it's taking some heavy fire. It's on fire, actually. Next from Dream Boy, we have, this is actually untitled, so... I don't know what exactly this is, but it appears to be some kind of tank depot. Then from Epic Tank Generator, this is a ZTQ-15 light tank. Uh, it says Chinese seen in combat against US-8, not in real life. So again, this is the second America vs. China conflict. So next from Minecraft Repo, this is the Knocked Out Tiger Tank. A curious Desert Fox inspects the Knocked Out Tiger Tank partially buried in the sands of North Africa. Then we have from Abracadabra, it's just a simple tank going through a wheat field. Then from T14, Armada I'm guessing, it appears to be some kind of a tank factory. Then from Zytrix, we have two M4A1s in Northern Africa. Then next, again from Minecraft Repo, his second entry, a cautious tiger tank, arrives at the center of the village where another friendly tank has been destroyed not long ago all right now from comic crusader this is defense of rome 1943 german forces have retaken a small village outside of rome and commandeered tanks for its battle against the allies then from jackie boy 1028 this is operation desert storm there's three american main battle tanks powering through an iraqi encampment of two t-72s which are destroyed the next from Corps, we have Partisans in Action 1943. Some Soviet partisans are getting ready to ambush a German supply train carrying a Panzer IV off G. The next from T-14 Armada, this is a SPAA and a tank drive across a remote dirt bridge kicking up dust. Then we have SW Gurin, this is a second diorama and it is an Al-Noa Zero where Japanese ground Central defense force uh, type 90s are put up against the Kalf Katafrad Desukalan. I don't even know how to say it. Then from Smart Part Tart again, this is a Type 10 and Type 74 on a Japanese ground defense force training range. The Type 74 has just finished a gun salute. Then from Cometer, this is a T 34 in 20 to 1 scale. So you can see uh, the two of them right there. One's firing gun and one has its treads knocked out apparently. And here are the 3D renders of both the tanks. Then our last entry by Perkon. This is a Metal Slug tank, SV-001. It is from the Metal Slug series, which I have not heard of. So those are all the entries. Now we're going to take a look at the top 10. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, oh. Can we switch up all the rules and imagine a utopia? Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm gonna live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa.